Welcome to the lab on MIM attack using ARP catch poisoning using the Atracap tool in Kali. So we are going to perform the attack okay against uh, this we are going to implement the attack in this network so we have uh, two missions one is windows xp and this one is windows server so they are communicating with each other so the attacker who is also connected to a port in the switch would be listening the passive communication between the uh, windows xp and the windows server and uh, he's uh, doing the eavesdropping he's listening to the, all the communication between them so this how to implement using a etrecap tool that is what we are going to see so i have uh, windows xp the ip for the windows xp is 192.168.1.20 So this is 1.20 this machine and the windows server is 1.19 ok so I have connected uh, to the bridged adapter both the system in bridged adapter and they are getting the uh, IP address from the DHCP service from the Wi-Fi router however if you want you can uh, put them in case you don't have the Wi-Fi router you can put in the host only adapter in that situation the IP address would be assigned by the virtual box to these virtual machines host only adapter so if you configure this host only adapter in case you don't have the Wi-Fi router uh, then you need not manually configure the IP address. The IP address would be uh, assigned automatically by the virtual box. If you select bridged adapter then the IP address would be assigned by your Wi-Fi router. So this is the difference. Now we have one more machine. So Kali, okay, just uh, let me check the IP address 1.20. So let me check the adapter, bridge adapter, and uh, this is 1.19. This is 1.20. Just a minute. There is a IP conflict is there. Let me fix it. So the problem has been resolved. Now this XP machine IP is 1.21 and the server IP is 1.19 and the Kali machine is 1.20. So these are the IP addresses 1.21 XP, server 1.19 and Kali 1.20. Okay, now uh, the communication between the XP and the Kali has, uh, sorry, between the XP and the server has to be eavesdropped from the Kali machine. Okay, so now we are going to configure. Um, we are going to run the tool called Etrograph Graphical. So this is the Etrograph tool uh, this I have opened now I open another terminal so be whenever we want to do the 
uh, this uh, mim attack we have to execute a command net dot ipv4 dot ib underscore word is equal to one command not found yeah I have forgotten uh, sys ctl you can type uh, sudo bash kali then sys ctl uh, net dot ipv4 dot ib underscore equal okay so once this command has been executed you can go to the header cap and then the the interface is eth0 that's the primary interface you can type if config so now the, the primary interface is eth0 so that has been selected and uh, we have just one IP address one interface so there is no need to select the bridged sniffing so once you have done this you can just go and accept this now it would start sniffing the unified sniffing then you go here and scan for the host so it's scanning the host and it has found seven hosts which are connected to my uh, connected to my Wi-Fi router okay and it is just listing them okay so this one is to search and this one is to list the host and now um, you know uh, this 19 uh, is the server and 21 is the XP machine so now we are going to do the MIM attack between them so just select this and add target 1 and you can see this 19 the server has been uh, selected as the target 1 then go to the XP this this system 1.21 and click add target 2 now you can see add to target 2 and then okay so before uh, I initiate the attack uh, just um, let me go to the server machine and I type ARP hyphen A so this shows the uh, ARP protocol uh, cache so uh, basically you know um, le let's let me uh, let me ping here I haven't started the ARP catch poisoning so I wa just want to ping uh, you know the XP 192.168.1. Uh, 21 so it's pinging now okay then I type the ARP cache so 1.21 has the MAC address of 08 okay so this is a MAC address of uh, you know XP 1A 0B okay so get MAC you can see 1A0B is the MAC address of um, the XP machine that has been now entered in the ARP cache of the Windows server. So to reach the XP machine with the IP address 1.21, the frame 
with the destination MAC address of 1A, um, 0B has to be framed. Okay, now in the ARP cache poisoning, what happens? The Kali machine would put its MAC address, um, you know, replacing the XP machine MAC address. So, what happens to the server? In order to send any frame uh, to the XP, it would be forwarding to the Kali machine attacker. That's the main purpose of the, uh, you know, this attack. Uh, now you see this, uh, you know, before the attack happens. Now let um, me show you the attack. Just go here. Then you have ARP poisoning. Okay, so uh, just leave the default one and click the OK. So now the attack has started. So once the attack has started, you can um, go to the again to the server. Let me uh, expand the font. So you can see here, this is the 1.21, 1A, one 1 0B is the MAC address. Now we have done the attack. So after from the Kali, the attack has been done and this attack would poison the ARP cache in the server. So now again I execute this. So 1.21, 1 you see this is a real... Um, MAC address of the XP 1A 0B but now you see after that attack it has been changed BD 54 1.21 is the XP machine so XP machine MAC address is 1A 0B but um, you know after the ARP cache poisoning if you check uh, in the Windows server cache so 1.21 is BD54. So what is the BD54? Whose machine is that? The BD54 is the okay. Uh, just BD54. This is the MAC address of the attacker Kali. So in the Windows server, the MAC address of the Kali is entered as the MAC address of the XP. So the XP IP address, but the MAC address is Kali's machine MAC address. So if the server is forwarding any packet, any frame, uh, you know, thinking that it is sending to the XP, it would be going not to the XP but it would be going through I mean it will not directly go to the XP but it would go through the uh, you mean uh, the Kali machine the, so Kali machine can sniff the packets capture all the uh, you know communication between them so now um, you know the communication is going through the Kali machine so what you can do is in the Kali you can open the wire shark here okay and this eth select and now you see the arp is uh, attack has happened here that would be recorded but you know it is better before you start the attack you should have started we should have started this actually Okay, now uh, let me uh, show you something very interesting. Um, okay, I just stop. Okay, and now I am going to, um, you know, FTP. There is a service, FTP service running in the XP machine, uh, server machine.
ftp192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0